Can you guys hear the accordion okay? Trick question. No accordion. We're going to start in a second. Thank you for being here. At whatever time you arrive, and thank you for being here now. Being part of something really wonderful and good. I'll try to be it. I'll try to be it. Okay, okay. Play it. Play it. Play it.
everybody with the watermelons. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for being here. Sizway, Cat Hitchcock, all the organizers, all the people who loaded stuff in and loaded stuff out, and you yourself for being here. This is really great. We're going to shorten our set. Sizz, how much time we got? He doesn't care. He wants us to play till jam, sundown. Jam, right? jam, jam, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi said, play to the next eclipse. <laughs> There are some people out in the world who kind of think, well, you know, if stuff happens, it happens, and there's nothing I can do. And this song is really about saying, it's really up to all of us to make the kind of change that we want to see in the world. And some days, like they say in Colorado, some days you eat the bear, some days the bear eats you. But that don't mean that we should give up trying. That's what this song's about. And if you feel so inclined, we appreciate it to join in, sing along with us. It's pretty easy. Special guest appearance by Lenny the Earthman. Yeah. 
us on Facebook, you can find us on all kinds of things. Thank you, John. The watermelons, let's hear it for them guys. They hung out all day with us. Thank you very much, the watermelons. And I'd like to at this time uh, invite 
Reverend Paul Smith and Reverend Enoch Falls from Corinthian Baptist Church to come up and uh, close us out with a prayer, with a moment for us to connect as we as we leave. Because I tell you, you you're not the same as you were when you came here today. So you're a different person. So hopefully they'll share a little something. Well, I guess this is the faithful remnant. Give a hand to yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Before, first of all, just honored to be up here with um, Reverend Enoch Buzz, who is such a leader in this community. Uh, did also want to, I don't know how many of you knew Reverend Bill Barnes, um, but Bill Barnes, a great champion of justice in this city, died today. And so just wanted to, um, to lift that up. Um, and here's, here's a prayer that I'm going to start and then uh, Reverend Fuzz will end this. Gracious God, source of all light, love, and justice, we thank you for the wonder of your universe displayed in a particularly spectacular way today. Help us to never lose a sense of awe when we gaze into the heavens, but also help us to not get too caught up in sky gazing, as there is much work that needs to be done right here on this bountiful but broken planet. I thank you for the eloquent speakers, talented musicians, and dedicated people watching over booths representing many different causes this day, that so many voices have been lifted up in the name of love and unity. Thank you especially for the hard work of those who organize this festival. Help us now to leave this celebration committed to being bearers of light in these often dark and troubling times. Help us to be voices for peace, justice, and reconciliation in this city and throughout the world. Especially now when voices of hate and division are so loud, help us to speak out even more strongly for love and unity. And as we seek to live out the call to love our neighbors on this small globe, help us to have an ever-expanding understanding of who our neighbor is. Help us to know deep in our hearts that every member of the human family, no matter what race, nationality, gender, sexual orientation, documentation, status, and yes, even political party, is our neighbor and help us to expand the def definition of neighbor even further to embrace all other living things that share this earth with us. Gracious God, lead us in all of this. Help us to trust that your light is brighter than all darkness, to believe that your love is stronger than all hate, to have faith that your goodness is greater than all evil, and help us to be partners with you in this planet healing work. Give us the love and courage we need to join you in creating a just and peaceful world. Heavenly Father, I come to you now because we need you. We're not able to get along without you. We're living in a mean world. We're living in perilous times. We're living in times like spoken of by your prophet Isaiah. When men and women would rather have darkness than have light. When people choose evil rather than good. When people make excuses not to show love. We're living in perilous times. And if we ever needed you before, surely we need you right now. Come on and see about us. Smile on us. We need you, O oh God. Black folk, angry at white folk. White folk, angry at one another. Come on and see about us. We need you. When men are no longer able to come, let us read them together. When people resist, to sit down at a table and talk about it. Come on and see about us. When churches are still segregated, come on and see about us. Your people are sick, oh God. The homeless in this city, men and women, husbands, wives, children, can't find somewhere to have shelter over their heads. Come on and see about us. Rain down on your churches and make them do those things that you would have them to do. Come on and help us, oh God. 
when we would love together to see an eclipse more than we would care to see the sick and well. When we would let policemen and police brutality reign in our neighborhoods and all folks don't care about it. When it's just black folk talking about boycotting in a veil because one man expressed his ideals. You better come help us, oh God, because we need you. And then, God, I thank you that things are as well as they are. I thank you for that. But, oh God, make us to be a people who would really give you honor. Make us be a people that you will be happy with our praise. Amen. Free ice water over there. Free ice water. Free ice water over no. by the U-Haul truck. No, I'm charging a dollar for that water. <laughs> no. Free. It's free. All right. Let's hear it one more time for Reverend Paul Slitz and Reverend Enoch Fuzz. I think he took us out the way we need to be taken out. He spoke to the trees, and he spoke to the insects, he spoke to the natural world and each other. I want to invite Ken Hitchcock, if you're in the, if you're in my earshot, come on up, Ken, and show us some love. Here she is. Uh, partners that came to the table. I hope you visited all of them. I hope you showed them some love because they sure showed us some love by being here today. I want to thank all the attendees. It was truly an amazing, an amazing day. It was love and unity under one sun. We did it his way. I want to thank everybody, all of our artists, all of our players, Andre Nix for doing sound for us, Lorraine uh, Segovia Paz. She, thank you. I practiced. Uh, she has been an amazing uh, creature in all of this. We got excited. We thought that we were called to do this, and I think that we can agree that we were called and that we answered the call and we lifted it up. And, and I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us in the South. I'm proud of us in the South. I am proud of us in Hadley Park. I'm proud of us for saying we are one love, one heart, one love and unity under this fine, glorious sun. I love you, Sisway. Thank you so much. Volunteers. Oh my. So if there's anybody who wants to give us a hand this last 15, 20 minutes, um, please come up here to the stage. We can use your help loading water and helping with the stage stuff and decorations. We got to get our, uh, oh, we got the snake down already. Great. Yay. All right, it's all packed up. But um, otherwise, y'all have given us plenty of time and, and this heat. We appreciate it. And I hope y'all realize when the eclipse was here, how much cooler it got because our magnificent sun was blocked by that moon, we never, we didn't have the heat that that sun was providing us. So make those connections, you all, and know how important solar power and solar energy is. And be a, be a spokesperson, be an outspoken spokesperson for our environment, because we have to speak for the natural world. Thank you, Jane Hussein, for all the wonderful work Jane did. Jane and Paul, as she takes her twirl. <laughs> Peace and Justice Center, the Tennessee Activist Coalition, and each and one of you all for being part of this wonderful day. Listen to a little bit of music as we pack up. And uh, if, we have any, if anybody needs any help with anything, please don't hesitate to ask. God bless you all, and have a great day. Good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are.